Are you able to tell us anything about how this cable came to be in your possession? In the story, there are some details of uh, how we received it, and that's actually the whole story of it. But effectively, we were contacted by a figure inside Pakistan's security establishment who was disillusioned with the impact of this crisis on the military and the politicization of the military and the level to which the Pakistani public itself had uh, soured on the military military because of its moves against Khan and perceived interference with the democratic process. So with this motivation, this source leaked this document to us and provided it to us. And that's how we came to obtain it. Currently, Imran Khan is being blamed by the government for leaking the document. But the reality is that neither Khan nor anyone in his party or any civilian was involved in this. It was someone from the broad Pakistani military establishment. And that's an interesting facet to this story, Murtaza, because, uh, to me, because uh, the military, as you mentioned, has enormous power in Pakistan, and, as does the national security establishment, the ISI, and so on. And it suggests that there are, at this point, at least a few discontented people there, or that there is some element of division in uh, the military and national security establishments. Am I right about that? Certainly, certainly. I think that, you know, if you keep in mind that Mr. Khan is the most popular politician in Pakistan, and, you know, I'm sure that extends to many American file members of the military, but also even among those who are not necessarily supporters of Mr. Khan, uh, there is, you could say, discontent with the way that the military has moved against him, put him in prison even, uh, because they know how much the Pakistan people like him generally. And they know that if they're seen as being responsible for his removal, uh, that's going to look poorly on them in the, in the eyes of their own nation. So I think as a result of that, there are these fissures inside the Pakistani establishment and what's going on and about the crackdown not taking place against Khan and his supporters.